Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It's Tuesday. It is the 11th day of May. It's National Eat What You Want Day. So guess what I'm going to eat today? What you want? Whatever I want. Yeah, so I'm gonna eat. Uh, it's National Foam Rolling Day today, and National Foam Rolling. Yeah, Rolling R O L L I. National Foam Rolling Day. Okay. And it's National Twilight Zone Day. Gonna have to celebrate with our son. That's one of his favorite shows. Uh, the original, by the way, is his favorite. Okay. They're good. Twilight Zone. Um, and it's a Tuesday, so we're going to feel like we went into the Twilight Zone because we're going to have Tuesdays with Charlie. There we go. Uh, actually, super excited to have him in the studio again. Remember a couple weeks ago when he said, I'm never coming back here? Uh, yes. And then he was back here. And he's back here again. So we're trying to give, convince him to move in with us. So if everybody wants to send a nice little note our way saying, hey, you should move in with John and Heidi. That's uh, that's the plan. He's <laughs> uh, He's so far not on board. We're working on it. Tuesdays with Charlie, coming up before you know it. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most. And addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. A recent study conducted by Temple University found that a new cannabis-derived drug known as uh, I'm sorry, it doesn't say what it's known as, uh, but it's a cannabis-derived drug, shows promises of relieving pain better than CBD. And they're already excited about CBD, but this new cannabis-derived drug, uh, whatever it's called, like I said, it's not in the story, is even better, they're saying. And another study claims millennials are causing a major drop in the U.S. birth rate. They're, they're saying uh, you guys need to, you know, procreate, if you know what I mean. So millennials are not having kids at the same rate as their well, parents. Well, I think they're waiting so much longer, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I to... think so. Yeah. I think part of it is it's expensive. Everything is so it's, It is expensive so expensive. Now, so that could be part of it. Surveys and studies mm. and such come your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Do you have a credit card? We'd like to help you get a better credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, we'd like to help you too. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Some cards offer points. Some cards are designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card no matter what you're looking for see if we can help you find a better credit card at bettercreditcards.com that's bettercreditcards.com this is your brain on drugs brought to you by time for rehab.com nebraska state patrol arrested a florida man after discovering more than 400 pounds of marijuana he had that hidden inside an atm and hidden in a safe and in a tote uh, and he was cruising through the state of nebraska on interstate 80 about 10 a.m., they pulled over a Mercedes Sprinter van. Um, he had broken another law. That's why they pulled him over. Was he acting like he was transporting this ATM somewhere? Well, or, I, I mean, think he Because that alone is kind of suspicious. Well, during the stop, police uh, indicated a dog smelled drugs. A search turned up a plastic tote with some marijuana. And then four ATM machines, which, again, that's not correct. ATM, the M is machine. So four to well, ATMs. ATMs. And a large safe. With the help of the fire department, the ATMs and the safe were opened, revealing more marijuana. The total weight of the marijuana, 426 pounds. About $9,000 cash was in a duffel bag as well. The driver, 36-year-old Gilbert Fernandez of uh, Cooper City, Florida, was arrested on suspicion of possession of marijuana. Suspicion? Apparently. <laughs> well, I think the suspicion was with the intent to deliver, even though he was delivering it. Okay. And possession of money during a drug violation. So, I don't know. A lot of stuff going on. That's what happens when your brain is on drugs. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Will Smith posted a shirtless picture and claimed it, quote, represents the worst shape of my life, end quote. And what it represents for me would be a That's, really, really good that shape. That would be a really good yeah. goal. I'm like, oh, that. I actually, and I don't usually click on it to see the photos, but I'm like, what is the worst shape of his life? I clicked on it and I was like, oh, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be doing I'd be cartwheels if I was, as I could probably do cartwheels if I was in that 
terrible of shape. I'm uh, I'm over 300 pounds, so I would be thrilled to be as as uh, in the shape that he's in. Katy Perry dressed as Tinkerbell on American Idol for some reason. I'm not exactly okay. sure why, but she did. And a Lord of the Rings podcast uh, is featuring actors who played in Lord of the Rings, Pippin and Merry. Uh, the p- people who played those characters. The podcast is going to center around the original trilogy, and they're saying that it's going to get a ton of people listening because over $5 billion was generated at the box office when this thing was on the big screen. So they're going to, even just talking about it, there are going to be some folks interested. Okay. I'm not one of those folks, by the way. No, me either. That is Big Screen, Little Screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. At WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com That's WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of RadioSavings.com. A traffic cop in Romania was demoted after he gave a driver a ticket for, this is in, in quotes here, for having a face like a moron, end quote. I love that so much more than I should. You shouldn't get a ticket that for is that. absolutely me, hilarious. Sir, for, for having a face like a moron. He was demoted for Maybe doing that. Maybe that guy was talking back and he just was, was you know, he'd had enough. It's probably not illegal, I hope. That if it is, so I can't funny. go to Romania. Um, Days In by Wyndham is looking to hire an aspiring photographer and adventure seeker to explore some of the United States' most desirable locations and uh, capture images along the way. The photos would then be used for the brand's website and social media channels. The company says two-week job could take place in August and will pay $10,000. I would do that in a heartbeat. Uh, They say during the two-week-long internship, our sun turn will explore some of America's most desirable locations and capture the moments along the way. You know how fun that would be? I have a link. Oh, my gosh. I have a link in the show notes. And I know somebody, that, uh, my friend Britton, he needs to do it. He is such a great photographer. Can you imagine how cool his pictures would be? Oh, yeah, his pictures would be pretty awesome. He took some photos of our family. He's just great. Um, Jeff Bezos has a thing called the Blue Origin Rocket Company, and they're going to start sending tourists into space. Seriously, in all honesty, do you have any interest no. in that? Me, me I'm either. not ready for any of that. Hey, if you ever feel wiped out, like you feel like you're half asleep, turns yeah. out you probably are. Researchers have found parts of your brain actually do turn off when you're fatigued, sometimes even before you're consciously aware that you are tired. And finally, a guy in Brazil accidentally shot himself while pulling up his pants in a bathroom at a oh restaurant. Oh, my god! The shot grazed his leg. He was able to walk out of the restaurant and go to the hospital. That's you embarrassing. Know how, I was going to just say, you know how embarrassing That's that would be? That's embarrassing. To have to go to the hospital and say, yeah, I accidentally. I shot myself. Shot myself. That would be. Don't do that. It's a bad idea. <laughs> that is today's Scoop of the Day. Came your way courtesy of Radiosavings.com. Early to bed, early to rise makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At insurancechicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that, but I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for my favorite program, something we do every Tuesday just because we can. We typically pick up the phone and we call my father-in-law for a little thing we like to call Tuesdays, Tuesdays with, with Charlie. Charlie. It's Tuesdays with Charlie on the John and Heidi Show. Once again, no phone needed. He is He's right here. here. Right here, sitting In by the our studio. side. How you doing, sir? Uh, bloody Mary in hand, I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you have for us? Something fun? Uh, <laughs> well, rumor has it, but we'll see what happens. Here. <laughs> In 2005, Frito Lay launched Cheetos. Oh, okay. Cheetos Good. lip balm, not Cheetos. Ew. Oh, but Ew. It, it was taken off the market because due to his failure. Yeah, I suppose. Well, yeah. Why would you do something stupid like well, that? Why you would know, anybody somebody, want it? That's disgusting. Somebody might like that flavored lip balm. Who knows? Ugh. I'm not a smart man, but that's a bad idea. Ugh. <laughs> hey, then, do you know it's illegal to play a musical instrument in the Northern Territory of Australia for the purpose of annoying other people? <laughs> okay. 
You could play a good instrument and be annoying. Uh, yeah, yeah, I probably could. 27,000 trees are cut down every day to supply the world's toilet paper. Oh, really? gee. How many? 27,000? 27,000. Hey, then, did you know that Coca-Cola was first served in 1836, and at that time only nine colas were served in, in an average day? Mm. So they would only do nine They've drinks a day. They've grown quite a bit. That's only 3,285 per year. Wow. I bet they do more than that per second now. Probably. Oh, then today, <laughs> 19,400 Coke products are consumed every second. Wow. Oh, wow, yeah. So they've definitely come a long ways. They yeah. sure have. Yes, they have. Well, that was a waste of about 30 seconds of my time, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, let's try this one then. It costs approximately $290,000 per year in fees to run a hot dog cart near the Central Park Zoo in New York City. Oh, wow. That's Jeez. just what you get, and it does, does not include... Um, the hot dogs and stuff? The hot dogs and whatever that is. And that's just the fees to give to the city. I've read that before, though. That, why would you do that? That is insane. I suppose they probably make a lot more money than well, that. Well, they right? would have to make a ton to justify that. Probably takes an act of Congress to get that spot, though, too. So. Yeah, I suppose. Wow. Hmm. Well, they got good hot dogs, though. Uh, you you better hope so, because they got to charge a lot for them. Never had one, but I, I, I it's got to be good. <laughs> we'll have to go check it out sometime. <laughs> hey, then the uh, shower curtain effect is a phenomenon in which a shower curtain gets blown inward with a running shower. You ever notice that? <laughs> when you're taking a shower, the shower curtain comes in? Yeah. That's what, phenomenon? That's a phenomenon. There it is. <laughs> And even scientists don't know what causes this. And they don't even know how to say it. <laughs> what was it again? The phenomenon. <laughs> <laughs> Would you leave your dad alone? You wonder why he doesn't want to come and live with us. Charlie, I won't pick that on you. That is awesome. That's just one reason. <laughs> <laughs> your earlobes line up with your nipples. I think we talked about that one other time. Yeah, huh. yeah straight down. Oh, this way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which, way did, which way did you think? Uh, I was looking the other way. <laughs> You ready for a question for me, Charlie? Oh, we're going to do that, too? Okay. I'm going to give you a question here. Since you had mentioned uh, toilet paper in one of your stories, I'll use this one. What color is most toilet paper used in houses in France? So pink. Like, yes, it is pink. I think you might have taught me that. I probably did because you retain a lot of stuff, I tell you. I, I'm pretty sure. I, I do listen to everything you say, and I, I remember some of it. And uh, I'm pretty sure you were the one who told me that. Most toilet paper sold for home use in France is pink. Huh. I have not seen pink toilet paper for... Oh, my gosh, since when I was a kid, early I used, 80s. Yeah, I used to see it here all the time, and then we, I haven't seen it in a long time. I've never seen it. Yeah, I used to yeah see they it. used to sell colored toilet pink, paper. Pink, yellow, and then, and and then like blue. a light bluish green. Yeah. Really? And on that note, Charlie, <laughs> thanks for stopping in, man. I thought we were going to have... Oh, we had the question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Talk to you next week, Charlie. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> bye, Fluff. Bye, John. Bye-bye. My father-in-law right there. We talk to him every Tuesday just because we can for a little program we like to call Tuesdays, Tuesdays with, with Charlie. Charlie. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most. And addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Water makes different pouring sounds depending on its temperature. If you listen closely, hot water and cold water sound slightly different when being poured. Really? The heat changes the, the thickness or viscosity of the water, which changes the pitch or the sound it makes when poured. What we feel huh. as heat comes from molecules of the water moving faster. Colder water is thicker, therefore makes a slightly higher pitched sound. So if you're really good and somebody's pouring you a glass of water, you can go, hmm, that's uh, 72 that's degrees. Hot water. Or that's, uh, that's room temperature water. That's cold water. That's uh, hot water. 
You know how I could tell it was cold water? I heard the ice cubes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is today's fun fact, by the way. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Do you have a credit card? We'd like to help you get a better credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, we'd like to help you, too. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Some cards offer points. Some cards are designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card, no matter what you're looking for. See if we can help you find a better credit card at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. RadioTravelGroup.com presents a news headline from somewhere in this world, Dateline Belgium or, or France or I'm not sure where, because a Belgian farmer is being accused of, I'm doing air quotes here, accidentally moving the French border and claiming some of the country of France for Belgium. (laughs) So What? When he was putting up a fence, apparently he put it up in the wrong place, and this Belgian farmer accidentally stole some of France when he did this. So online people are being very rude about it. They're like, oh, it's so easy to invade France these days. (laughs) (laughs) He didn't try to. He accidentally accidentally stole part of France for his uh, Belgium farm. So I don't know. Would that be Dateline Belgium or Dateline France? Probably Belgium. All right. Yeah, because he he claimed it. So now it's his. That is uh, a news headline from somewhere in this world. At WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. That's WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. A wild caught-on-camera brawl broke out between two families at a restaurant. Uh, It's a seafood-centric dust-up. This is the latest. There have been a couple of these now. Footage shows customers in this one hurling curse-laced insults back and forth at a place called Juicy Seafood Kickin' Crab. Uh, Scuffle turned violent when some of the brawlers began throwing punches. And then they started throwing chairs and glasses and napkin holders. The little children that were nearby could have easily been hurt, one of the people said, the manager there at the restaurant. She said, this is our first experience of something like this, so we're going to have to put something in place. Because they're like, well, what did you do? Like, we didn't know what to do. We didn't know what to do. No one's ever done this before. Everyone was shocked. Families bolted before police arrived, leaving the eatery trashed. Once they heard police were on the way, everybody left. No other customers or workers were injured, thank goodness. Restaurant offered discounts to the people who were there. It was not immediately clear what even started the fight. But I can tell you, it is definitely today's weird news. John and Heidi. Time now for your moment of duh, brought to you by Radiosavings.com. A Florida teen who allegedly schemed with her mother to rig an election for homecoming queen is now being charged oh as an adult. We talked about... Emily Rose Grover, she was 17, and her mother was, uh, she and her mother both, arrested for hacking student accounts. Oh, yeah, this was, Casting 250 bogus votes to snag the homecoming crown. She turned 18 last month. State's attorney says, you know what? She's being tried as an adult. Her mother, by the way, is 50, Laura Rose Carroll, facing multiple felonies for fixing an October homecoming election last year. Carol is an assistant principal at an elementary school in the same county. That's what gave them access to the computer system. Oh, my gosh. And they thought, what could possibly go wrong? Yeah, well. They found 117 votes originated from the same IP address over a very short period of time. And that is why they said, there's got to be something going on here. Tracked it down, found out it was this place. It was their residence. So, bad idea. It is today's Moment of Duh. Early to bed, early to rise, makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At insurancechicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that. But I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for Is It a Golf Course or Is It a Rehab Center? Brought to you by timeforrehab.com. Heidi, are you ready for this one? I'm ready. 
Desert Cove, Scottsdale, Arizona. Is it a golf course or is it a rehab Desert center? Desert Cove. Desert Cove. I'm going to say that that's a rehab center. And the answer is rehab center. There Yay. we go. Finally. Oh, yeah. Good job, Heidi. You know what? That does kind of sound like a mini golf course to me, though. Desert Cove. <laughs> but it's I suppose, not. yeah. It is a rehab center. Heidi got it right. She got the golf clap. That's how it works. Oh, by the <laughs> That's way. That's how it works. That is how we play. Is it a golf course <laughs> or is it a rehab center? Brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. I love this story. It's from last week. Caseworker adopts a 19-year-old who spent most of her life in foster care. This is in Florida, and it is such a great story. A caseworker in Florida is now a new mom to a 19-year-old who spent most of her life in foster care. Oh, she adopted her at 19. Yes. Uh, She met her six years ago, formed a close bond. Uh, She was actually her caseworker. Because of her job, she was not able to adopt her until she aged out of the foster care system. So she's no longer in the foster care system. Now that day has come. The judge declared the adoption official, and she is now officially this young lady's mother. They shared a hug for the first time as mother and daughter right before Mother's Day, which was pretty cool. Everything is official. The one thing we wanted since I was a kid has finally come true. Um, I made her a promise that I would find her an adoptive family. I just didn't realize that adoptive family would be my family. It's really cool. They celebrated. It says here they are celebrating, but they did celebrate their first Mother's Day together this last week. That's fantastic. It really is. And I'll tell you what, there's a a lot of people out there who do this. They step up and adopt children, uh, whether they're little children or, in this case, this girl's 19. Uh, But again, that is just an amazing thing. And if you know someone who does that, I sure hope you hold them in high regard like I do. I know Mm -hmm. several people who have done that. And I look at them like absolute heroes, heroes because like that is the it's coolest tough. thing ever. That is a tough thing. And it's a tough thing. So foster care and adoption are two different things, yeah. and they're both really cool. But I love that this young lady said, "You know what? I'm going to find you an adoptive family," and now she is the adoptive family. It's really, really neat. I've got a link to this in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Tuesday.